Emma. Where is everyone? We're supposed to log on 15 minutes before, yeah, uh, right? Uh, I was talking to Noah last night at 2 a.m. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he was still sleeping. 2 a.m.? She doing up that late? I, I can't sleep at night. Um, I can't believe quarantine has gone on so long. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Ugh, same. I toss and turn all night, and once I do fall asleep, I wake up at 3 a.m. on the dot almost every night for some weird reason. Ah, you know that's the witching hour, right? They say that evil spirits are on the roam at 3 a.m. The witching hour? Um, I I've never heard of that. Great, I've heard of it. Now I'm really scared. What if evil spirits are what is waking me up at night? Now I'm gonna have an even harder time trying to sleep. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Come on, Olivia. You don't actually believe in that stuff. Do you? Yeah, I do actually. Ava, it's a real thing. Look it up. I saw people talk about it on YouTube. I just looked it up. Wow, so they say that during the witching hour or, or the devil's hour, demons, witches, and ghosts are roaming free and are at their most powerful during the hours 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. Okay, guys, this is really freaking me out. What is freaking you out, Olivia? Yeah, what are you guys talking about? Well, when I fall asleep, I'm having a horrible time, and when I wake up, I wake up exactly at 3 a.m. I've been having trouble sleeping at night too, and I wake up at 3 a.m. on the dot, but why would that freak you out? That's, That's the, the witching, witching hour. hour! The witching hour? What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Look, I I've never heard of it either, but I just looked it up and it is a real thing. It's the time of the night when evil spirits like demons, witches, and ghosts run free. So now you see why I'm freaking out! Come on, ladies. Really? I don't believe that. Well, that would explain why swear noises are waking me up at night. Come on, you're not drinking the Kool-Aid too, are you? Wait, hold on. Drinking the Kool-Aid? What does that have to do with anything? I'm sure Olivia's not drinking anything at 3 a.m. Don't Kool-Aid. No, Ava, it's a metaphor. It means you're falling for the same trick, or whatever. It's a reference to a 1978 cult mass suicide. A guy named Jim Jones told his followers to drink some Kool-Aid. They did. And died. Okay, now that's really freaky. Was the mass suicide at 3 a.m.? Yeah, that is what you say when everyone's falling for something. Wait a minute. Speaking of everyone, where's Noah? Class is about to start and he's not logged on. Yeah, I was talking to him at 2 a.m. last night. Where is he? Ooh, spooky. Maybe he stayed up till 3 and I'm a witch to come. <laughs> not funny, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, not cool. Just because you don't think it's real doesn't mean it isn't. Okay, now I'm really worried. Good morning, class. I'm going to take attendance and we will start a daily lesson. Hope everyone had a great weekend. get a hold of Noah today? No, and I texted him like 20 times. Oh, really? Has anyone else reached out to him? Well, we invited him to our game of Fork Knife, and he didn't respond. Kinda weird. Yeah, it's not like him not to respond at all. He never misses a Fork Knife game. And he wasn't in class today either. This is really scary. Guys, I'm sure he's fine. The probability of something bad happening to him is very low. <laughs> mm, I don't know. You're the ones talking about the witching hour, not me. Though now that you put that in my head, I'm starting to think that something crazy could happen to him. Really, Jesse? Don't be a noob. I'm sure he's just out of town or something. Sure, everyone's traveling during the COVID lockdown. Guys, guys, this is really freaking me out. Look, I'm already having a hard time sleeping and now we can't find Noah? Well, let's make a pact. Whoever gets a hold of Noah first will text or call everyone else. This means as soon as we find him, no matter what time it is. I'm in. Me, Me too. too. Okay. Deal. Although, I'm sure he's fine. Mom said get off your computer and get off your phone now! 
Jeez, bossy, isn't she? <laughs> Turning your phone? Yeah, my parents make me turn on my phone at 11.30 every single night. Well, then how will we get a hold of you if we find Noah and you don't have your phone? Oh, well, my parents are really heavy sleepers and I sneak my phone out every night and put it back in and they don't even notice. Dude, you're funny. If I ever tried that, I'd be grounded for life. If I got caught, I would be too. But I just got super stealth skills. You're braver than I am. I'm afraid to even try. Yeah, I would <laughs> never try that. But my mom lets me keep my phone. She thinks I go to sleep at 10.30 every night. Mom said now! Okay, guys. Uh, I'll text you once I get my phone back. Okay. Can't wait. Uh, I mean, um, cool. Yeah. Uh, talk later. Thank you.